Hi, I'm Jeff Bradshaw for Redneck Restorations. This old truck brought to you by ElderlyIron.com. Underneath this cardboard is the frame of old granddad. We got a problem. And this is going to fix it. I'll show you why. Now in your 1955-9 Chevrolet GMC truck, these plates are added to the cross member. And if it's riveted in, then you'll know you have a factory installed unit. If it's bolted in, then you'll know that it was an aftermarket. This, however, has both riveted and bolted. So what that means, I don't really know, but it had to be riveted in at the factory. So anyway, if we go look underneath Krusty, then we can see they installed the transfer case without any such reinforcement. Good thing for them it didn't uh, crack and split the cross member. Anyway, that's why the plates are there, to prevent cracking. So according to the plates on Whitey, I need 5 and 5 eighths square and one seven and a half by 5 and 5 eighths. Time to get working. So then, I took my square, and I put it flat against there, and I found out it's uh, 21 30 seconds from the guard to the blade. So I added that to my 5 and 5 eighths from here, and then added another sixteenth for the curve of the blade. Clamp up my bar and away we go. I love sparks, don't you? Next! time for the grinder to die. Used to have one of them pussy button thingies on the back. Used to have. Well, the guard's pretty close to the same depth. Close enough. Five and five eighths square. This needs to be seven and a half. It is now eight inches. So we need to whack a half off. Twenty-two thirty seconds. Plus one half inch. 
which is 16 30 seconds. Doing 16, it's 38 30 seconds. Or 1 and 6 30 seconds. Or 1 and 3 16 In case you're wondering what this piece of metal is, that was the shaft that Tony made for the uh, Ford Hayrick. Now it's my guide. Oh, I didn't add the 16th for the kerf. So there and then the 16th. See, this is where we should be, right there. And then add 16th for the kerf. Duh. Burring, marking. I kind of went and stole the plate off Whitey. That's scary, my face that big, ain't it? Wish I had a centering punch or a center punch. Now I need the dimensions for the other side, which will not be that easy. Now I got to do all this because I wanted to hang the transfer case before I put the final top coat on the frame. So now I've got to cut the rivets off for this park brake bracket so we can get that uh, reinforcing plate up on here. Safety first because accidents last. Hey, dare right, Dave? Yeah, yeah, eh? This is what PB is good for when you lose your button. Well, it would be nice if the Pulled the drill bit through, but no, it can't do that. It has to break it off. Now, it just so happens that these two holes here are in the location where we need to make the large holes for the transfer case mount. And when we come down here, this hole is two inches from the center of that rivet, which is also exactly where the mount hole needs to be. We just have to make one on the other side. Two. Three quarter. Okay. Thirteen sixteenths. Or I can go like this. Half. That's a lot easier. So according to our previously marked plate, if we butt that against there, center of that lines with the center of that. Same thing over here. And these marks should line up with that hole, which it do. But I can't drill this from the top because there's brackets in the way. So. What I shall do is get my pilots taken care of. Where did my claps go? 
Well, you know what? I should pilot that through. That's not the bit that I used. It's the dull bit. So what you didn't get to see because the battery went dead on the camera is I took that plate and I flipped it over this way so I can drill this hole now. I've already done my center punch. A hole. So there's my pilot. Now, and the pilot, I mean, I've got to be, I gotta make those bigger. Much, much bigger. Okay, so I didn't push the record button correctly. First, run it up to 7 16 Both sides. Then up to three quarter. And on to the other side, but first... Plate number one. Tor? <laughs> Top. Top. I have another one of those. I really do. How can one of those not line up? Just one. Oh, wait. Back to the 716 bit. Three quarter. So then, with our plates fabricated. Time to get the rivets out of the park brake bracket. Disintegrating wheels are why you wear a face mask. Or a mace mask. That should, however, must support the metal. as close to the rivet as possible. Otherwise you'll just bend the bracket. That bent it slightly just doing that. Where are you? There you are. Okay. I do hard work. And paint. That's going to be tomorrow till I get the hardware. But for you, it's in three, two, one. I like that for continuity. You know what you get when you cross bad audio with bad lighting? You get YouTube. Okay, plates are painted and the uh, park brake bracket painted. Got to go together. Using uh, 3 8 grade 8 bolts.
these have got to go. Click, click, click. Next. Now this plate, she's only go one way. And that's not it. And that's it. Because it won't go this way. She's enough fit. This way she's a fit. So then the next thing to do is to get the brackets mounted on the transfer case and the transfer case up in the position. But I ain't doing that now. Now I've got fresh off redneck Take two. Now in your 1955 to 59 your Chevrolet GMC Napco Power Pack trucks, these plates are added. Now I've got fresh off redneck restorations. Too late. I love sparks, don't you? Which one's the hot side? Hi, I'm Jeff Bradshaw for Redneck Restorations. This old truck brought to you by elderlyiron.com. Well, underneath this cardboard is the cream, cream of Frusty. And it's not even really crusty, or Frusty. Who oh, now? Hello? Yes. The uh, radiator is supposed to be done by the end of the week. Hi, I'm Jeff Bradshaw for Redneck Restorations. This old truck brought to you by elderlyire.com. Well, underneath this cardboard is the frame of old granddad. Now, when we went through Krusty, we had to... That's not what I want to do. So then, plate's completed. Time to get the rivets out of the park brake bracket. Face shield. There was more? Oh, there, I got him. Ah! With the what? I don't know anything about any soy sauce. What? I don't know anything about any soy sauce. Of course, now the tripod leg is going to be right in the way. So then, the next thing to do is to get the brackets onto the transfer case. Get the transfer up case. Yes? Can I do one thing? One moment, please.